The Red Bears holding on for dear life as the Tiger Sharks lead this match two to one. Alon Goaz and Homer Moore set to go in round two. As you can see at Alon Goaz's pants, he lost some weight going down from heavyweight to light heavy. He's had some time to do that as he missed his as he missed his last match dealing with a back injury. And now Homer Moore firing shots. Not many of those landed though. Nice there. Ooh, electric. A nice take there. Yeah, and this could be it already. Once Alan gets a hole in you, <laughs> you better watch out. You should pull up an anaconda right now. He probably is going to do it. This is exactly where Goaz wanted to be. I'm a little surprised he didn't take it to the mat earlier and work his ground. Back of the head, not hit the back of the head. Homer Moore has got to do something, boss. How do you get out of this position? Well, if he just holds like this, nothing really happens. The referee will put him back on the feet. Alain should hit with his wrist, with the bone part of your wrist. It's legal. I just hit the side of the head as hard as you can. That'll leave a mark, no doubt about guillotine. it. Guillotine. And here comes the guillotine. And Alan is good with it. Homer's posturing up, though, so he might slip out. But Alan, knowing his submissions, this could be the finish. This really could be the end. Will Alan go as finish it as he tries to lock in the guillotine choke? Homer Moore's Whoa. got some power, and he pulls out of it. Yep, he's got no neck, as you can see, <laughs> and that saved him. Homer Moore is very athletic, an explosive fighter. But he should use now his strength. He's got two minutes and 10 seconds. Now he, Alon Goas has got to watch using that rope. Yeah, they're Here, gonna restart. They're gonna restart. In the center of the ring. This could be very good for Alan. Slaps him in the air. That might give him a wrong impression. Like, what? <laughs> there was a B slap. Hey, back on the feet. We restart on the oh, feet. That is strange. Oh. Fighters begin to tee off. Moore's got some strong punches. You have to watch out for him, but as you can see, he's tired. Yes, he is. Oh, and that low kick just that's knocked the low him kick. down. And Alon Goa is going to work. And now the choke this is going to come. is getting close to being over. The low kick knocked Homer Moore down to the ground, and this one is going to be stopped here pretty quickly if Homer Moore doesn't do something. Oof. And that's it. And that is all. Alon Goez gets the victory. And more importantly, the Seattle Tiger Sharks have won the match. Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist Alon Goez gets the win for the Tiger Sharks in very impressive fashion. Yep, here we go with the low kick, boom. Oh, it's on the leg there. No. Yeah, you saw his leg sweeping to the inside, and that, of course, is never good. When your leg go to places where it doesn't supposed to go, that hurts. Absolutely it does. And then Goaz just went to work, and that even brought a smile to Coach Mo Smith's face. Something you don't see too often. Let's make it official and go up to ring announcer Tim Hughes. This one now comes to an end in two minutes, 56 seconds of that second round. The winner, Alon Goez. And with the victory, the Tiger Sharks will keep their playoff hopes alive. So the Tiger Sharks get the team victory with a three to one win over the Red Bears. But the playoffs are decided by overall record first. Then the tiebreaker is match record. So every fight counts in the IFL. Alon Goez celebrates his victory and the team win. But he's going to have to make room for the big boys. The heavyweights are coming up next. Awesome. IFL.
Slam the back. 